you can't be serious. Thanks to you, Bunnix had to reset the timeline 16 times. 16! At this rate, we'll never defeat the time-traveling Mega Akuma. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, come on, guys. Cut me some slack. I was merely trying to find a shortcut to all of this. Well, that's not how it works. Ladybug is right. We have to remain as unnoticed as possible. I said it once, and I will say it again. We are here thanks to certain chain of events that made it possible for us to exist in the first place. We need to preserve these events and how they occur to the best of our abilities in order to ensure safety. Any shortcuts can disrupt the timeline and endanger not only our existence, but the entire world. In short, time is a fragile thing. The less Minibug and Kitty Noir know about the future, the better. So just don't go around spreading information that isn't vital for our mission, okay? Exactly. <laughs> not done. Ugh. Oh, is that so? And do the same rules apply to Ladybug? As far as I know, she was the one freely giving out information to Minibug about our stay here. Mm -hmm. Um, L, is that true? <laughs> Pah! Far from it! I was telling her about our hideaway in her timeline, about us staying as our civilian selves at Le Grand Paris, incognito of course, just in case she needs to locate us, for emergency reasons. Hmm. Sorry, Chaton! You wanted to throw me under the bus there, huh? Well, unlike you, I know how to stick to the plan and reveal mission-relevant information only. I guess. <laughs> that part about us sharing a bed was a very crucial and relevant piece of information too, right? <laughs> you do so much for this mission, love bug. You know, it's fine that you told her I prefer to be the little spoon. You! I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But if it's important information in case of emergency, I'll let it be known. 